Taraba State is situated in the northeastern part of Nigeria, bordering the Cameroons. It was carved out of the former Gongola State in 1991. It has 16 local governments and two development areas. The people are hospitable and generally very friendly. Popularly known as nature's gift to the nation, Taraba State is indeed a place where nature is at its best everywhere you go and in everything you see. When you access Taraba State from Adamawa State, you are stunned by the spectacular rock formations in Zing. These rocks extend to Bitako with shapes like penguins, mushrooms and human faces. They have been known to serve in the past as burial sites for great men and warriors. Today, they are attractive locations for research, tourism and recreation. These are potentials for setting up resorts, research centers, heritage centers, and museums with the catchment of Jalingo, Lao, Yoro, and Zing local governments where investors can take advantage of. Should a tourist approach Taraba State from Benue State, you will be welcomed by the legendary Marmara Ponds in Wukari that houses the crocodiles which symbolizes the cradle of the Kororofa dynasty. Next door by the banks of the Benue River is the Wunyo Lake where now the famous Wunyo fishing festival takes place. With catches weighing 250 kg and above, the festival has become a household name in northern Nigeria. Aside the festival, this lake is home to hippopotamuses that from time to time graze on the shrubs on the bank of the Benue River, providing spectacular sight for the host community and tourists. Due to the growing number of hippopotamuses sighted within the Winyo and the Benue Plains, which are classified as endangered species, investing in an ultramodern pool conserving these huge creatures will be an added advantage. The influx of tourists and researchers to the Winyo Lake on a constant basis can comfortably attract a three-star hotel fully equipped with aquatic infrastructure to complement the way of life of the people and the habitats of Ibi. The Gashaka Gumti National Park, the largest in Nigeria, is located in Gashaka local government area of Taraba State. This is a location that visitors will not want to forget in a hurry. With the only rainforest north of the Niger, over 103 species of mammals, including rare species such as the largest population of chimpanzees in Nigeria, the African elephant and the West African wild dog, the world's largest antelope, the giant elam, with more than 50 species of birds, the Gashaka Gumti National Park is an exciting place to cherish. At the southeastern end of Gashaka Gumti National Park, at the borders of the Sardona local government and the Cameroons, lie the highest mountain in West Africa called Chapalwade, aka Mountain of Death, at a whooping height of 2,442 meters above sea level. The Mambila Plateau in Sardona local government is another fantastic site tourists will find irresistible. With temperate climates and fruits likened to those in Europe, the plateau is in a class of its own. The Mambila Plateau is covered with lush horizons, beautiful landscapes, meandering rivers, breathtaking waterfalls and ancient caves dotted across its landscape. The Mambila Highland Tea is another beautiful sight to behold. Its plantations are well spread in a cozy settlement powered round the clock by many functional hydro systems. Sardona local government provides huge potentials to set up museums, holiday resorts, five-star hotels to accommodate tourists that can feature a golf course and polo grounds. Smart investors can take advantage of the large cattle and fruit base for the production of meat, 
dairy and fruit juice infrastructures. Kashimbila Dam has become an artificial dam to visit when in Takum. Flanked on its south are the mysterious rock formations of Bete, Bambo and Fikyu Mountains. On the same axis of the rock formations are the ancient wardrooms, wells, pots and caves at Quantem in Donga local government area. Whichever part of Taraba you find yourself, cherish every moment you spend. Come and invest in Taraba.